fetish for my love Whenever you're watching this, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my voice is a little off, I woke up like an hour ago. And yeah, it just sounds funky right now. But today, I will be doing a skincare routine. The last time I filmed a skincare routine or my first skincare routine video was in September. So go watch that <laughs> if you haven't seen it already. I wear a face mask in it and it looks kind of creepy. But I will also be doing an Ole Henriksen review. I'll get into that because <laughs> it was my first time trying it. Whew, I look wild. Okay, let's get started. The first thing, ugh, I don't think I'll ever stop using this because it honestly saved my skin in high school because it was, it was awful. It was oily, like way too greasy. I would go in the bathroom and take like a paper towel and like dab my face because that's how bad it was. And I would have like massive pimples on my face. But then I used this, and it cleared my skin up. This is the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, whatever, Daily Facial Cleanser. I know, <clears throat> sorry, this is from Normal to Oily, and I know there's a, like, a sensitive skin type one, and I tried it, but I feel like it doesn't really clean my skin that well. Also, full disclosure, my skin, I woke up with that. Sorry if that was too close, but... I also have like little red bumps. I don't know, I probably ate something yesterday that my skin didn't like. So that's fun. But as an exfoliator, I know this isn't really good for your skin, but this one doesn't have the walnut skin. There's something with walnuts and in face scrubs that aren't good for your skin because it slowly tears away your skin. Again, I'm not like, a face dermatologist expert i'm just saying what i've read and what works for my face i'm just putting that out there but this is the saint ives radiant skin pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub that's what it looks like and i was ugh, i was gonna buy the bliss jelly scrub it's like a really good exfoliator because it doesn't have the <laughs> okay, it doesn't have the little beads in it like this does But oh, I use it in the shower and there's like water coming out Okay, but this does not have the walnut No, so I don't think this is as bad as the one with the walnuts I do have the walnut one in my shower, but that's only for blackheads And I'm trying not to use that much of it because I don't want my skin To just tear away, you know, you gotta take care of your skin Okay, I'm trying to go step by step so when I get out of the shower, I pat your face dry. Do not rub, pat it dry. If you watch my old video about skincare, just, I hope you learn something from it. <laughs> um, but next, here is the Ole Henriksen. I used to use the Thayer's um, Witch Hazel Alcohol Free and like, that one I love, but I wanted to try this because I heard a lot of good reviews on it. But this is the Ole Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Focus. That's what it looks like. I'm like, I started in November and it's up to there now. I'm like, it's, just, it's the size of my hand. <laughs> um, but the smell of this, I know it's supposed to be like citrusy. I don't know it doesn't smell that great to me but and sometimes when i use it i get like red spots like you know when your face gets like itchy to something and there's like random red red spots that's what happened to me like when i would use this so maybe it's too strong for my face would i repurchase this oh another thing in this video with ole henriksen products um i'm gonna say would i repurchase it so would i repurchase this I don't think so. Um, the price for this bottle is like 48 so I think there are better alternatives. I'd probably go back to Thayer's Witch Hazel because that's like, it's like under $15 and you get a big, big bottle and it lasts long and my face doesn't get irritated by that. So no, I would not repurchase this, but it did 
transform my skin, I guess, which is what it says here. Focus. It does say transform, but I, when I'm in the sun or like when I take pictures, I'll, pro I'll try to put pictures of like the good skin <laughs> photos, but it did make my skin glow, but I don't think I'd repurchase this. Moving on. Next, I would use my two favorite sprays. I love Mario Badescu so much. I have the rose one too, but that's in like my travel bag when I sleep over at my friend's house. I just keep that in there. Um, but this, I'll start with this one. If it's morning, you use this one. The green one. Okay, don't focus. It's the aloe cucumber and green tea. That's for the morning time to wake you up. I'm sorry if the traffic's too loud. I'm right next to the window. <laughs> and the rose one, which is pink, obviously, that's for like afternoon or setting makeup. And the purple one, this is for nighttime. It's so pretty, I love the color. <laughs> but it's aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Love those, I always, I've been buying that since high school. Also had the Ole Henriksen serum. I'll put a picture here. Let me talk about that real quick. <laughs> so, it didn't last very long. Um, I know this isn't probably like with all the bottles, but it kind of looks like this. It has that like pump, but this part of the Ole Henriksen serum was like, it didn't screw on correctly, like it was always crooked. And every time I would pump some serum into my hand, did I even say this is serum? <laughs> Sorry, hello, this is serum. And every time I would pump the Ole Henriksen serum, some of it would come out on this part. So there was like leakage there. It didn't last long. Um, it kind of got a little tacky. Yeah. Um, would I repurchase that? No. Like, yeah, it smelled a little good, like oranges or whatever. Did it make my skin better? Sure. But... It just, it didn't glide onto my skin that smoothly. Not like these babies. <laughs> so this is Bliss. Hello, nice to meet you. This, I, I think they only sell them at Target. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I, they probably have some on their website. And they're amazing. These two serums, they melt into my skin so perfectly, like, butter on toast <laughs> I love it so much this is so much better than Ole Henriksen oh and the Ole Henriksen serum I'm sorry I feel like I'm confusing you the Ole Henriksen serum was probably around $40 not worth it don't buy it sorry no hate to them but just ah uh, this is so much better <laughs> this is the daytime one is glow and hydrate niacinamide and hyaluronic acid serum sorry if i butchered it oh it's cute it's pink it's heavy there's a lot of product in here that will last you a long time and this is the nighttime one this is renew and smooth glycolic and polyhydroxy acid night serum Ooh. they're pretty <laughs> I love bliss okay I need a water break this is the number one key to good skincare oh, my throat okay next <laughs> you've already heard me talk about this baby it's bliss again hello this is eye cream it's explosion radiance boosting eye cream with vitamin C and this is actually my second bottle I purchased. The other one lasted me like... I bought it in March and I repurchased this I think January or December. So that, it lasts me a long time. And you don't have to use that much, just like one pump, put it on each eye and like, you know, dab it. And I guess it's hiding the fact that I don't sleep a full eight hours. <laughs> I sleep at like 1 a.m. every day. And does it look like it? Don't answer that. <laughs> but I love this product so much. Bliss, you are my baby. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to moisturizer. This is Ole Henriksen. 
It's the Truth C Rush Brightening Gel Cream with three sources of vitamin C and all of that. I used this, all the Ole Henriksen products I started using probably by the end of November. Way too close, sorry. <laughs> and this is where I am now. I'm almost hitting the bottom. I have a clean and clear their watermelon gel moisturizer that I'm gonna be trying next. So keep an eye out for a new skincare routine video probably in two months. It smells like watermelon. I had to get it. It smells like Jolly Rancher. I know fragrance isn't good for the skin, but I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know. And clean and clear, I trust them. <laughs> this was, how much was this? Ooh, I'm touching my face, okay. This is probably 40 to $60, I don't remember, but I think it was more expensive than the other two products I used. And I mean, it's okay. It's really thick, so a little bit goes a long way. Um, it smells like citrus, like all the other products. <laughs> Would I repurchase it? Um, sure. I mean, it makes my skin feel nice and like thick and radiant. This is for pimples. If you have stubborn pimples like mine right there, I'm gonna be popping some of this later on. <laughs> this is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. This is $17, but let me tell you, it lasts you for months. Cause, okay, if you don't know about this, this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little messy on the top, but you dip a Q-tip in the pink stuff do not shake it and then just dab the pink stuff on your troubled spots or whatever and it'll most likely be gone by the end or say you put it on at night it'll most likely be gone by the morning that's how good and powerful it is okay face mask i haven't been doing that many like i want to i want to be doing face mask like four times a week, but I'm not. I'm also not wearing any makeup, so you guys can see my skin. Oh, another disclaimer, yikes. Sorry, this video is all over the place, but I'm trying to be chill with you guys, like you're here talking to me. I have, oh, cover, so you can see. I have like these red little, I don't know, they're like red spots. I don't want to touch my face. Oh, can you see? I'm gonna pop pictures. Okay, yeah. I took pictures. Oh, please be quiet, the truck. This is before I started using Ole Henriksen, or like a first the first couple days I started using it, that's what my skin looked like with the, those little red, red spots on my face. Um, and here's like towards the end, the middle of it. I don't know, It. I don't know if it's improved you be the judge of that i i don't know but i asked my friend vanessa because she's a smart gal and she's doing nursing and I don't, she's just smart <laughs> and i'm like what is this the help and like she's she's been to a dermatologist i haven't so sh i was like oh maybe she'd know what it was and she said that it could be where is it i don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> Pedachai? I don't know. I should have probably looked it up. That's what it is. And I I should really go to the dermatologist. <laughs> Cause it sounds serious, but then it doesn't, so I don't know. Um I I've had it for almost more than six months when i came back from the philippines is when it came and appeared on my face i don't know what it is i didn't do anything wrong and it won't go away i've tried bio oil you know for like acne scarring but it's not really going away so that's i don't that was a little side note i'm sorry i keep going off the subject but face mask <laughs> This is by Bliss, are we surprised? This is the Pore Patrol Deep Detox 4 Clay Souffle Mask. This is nice when you want that deep cleaning face mask, you know, the heavy ones where you put it on after the shower. And you're like, I'm gonna watch Netflix for like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's a good face mask. Um, I don't really have that much to say on it because I've only used it about four times. 
in like four months <laughs> so i do recommend because it does feel like it really cleans my face but with this baby i've talked about this before this is the brand ordinary it is an acid mask so you only have to have it on your face for 10 minutes it's 10 minute exfoliating facial peeling solution so if you're ever going to use this i would say try it on your face for only five minutes um just to see how sensitive your face is with it it's only seven dollars i ordered it from sephora and it's, it's lasted me a long time and it looks like blood <laughs> I've talked about this in my last skincare video, but it's like blood. Yep, it's like the Madame Lalaurie from I probably said her name so wrong. From um, she used the blood of slaves on her face to make herself look younger. That's what it looks like. All right, some new face mask. My mom told me to order these from Amazon. I think they're Korean face mask. God, there's so many trucks okay so she ordered a lot there's this much and then there's this much um let me just pick out a few randomly okay this is the dermal they're all collagen face mask um they're all like paper face mask where you just peel it off like looks like you're a serial killer when you put it on this is a cucumber one and it tells you what it is or like what it does so the cucumber one is convergence moisturizing and soothing um let's pick one from here this is acai berry oh yeah this is the antioxidant and renew so the antioxidant and anti-aging properties in acai berry keeps skin revitalized with renewing properties. A super fruit and vitamin C keeps skin looking young and fresh. That's what it looks like. I think it came in a pack of 24 for like $7. So if you, I guess if you just search up on Amazon, like Korean face mask, 24 pack, I think they're $7, which is, I think it's a really good deal. And like... When you take the face mask off, you just like pat your skin and then you can use the remaining like serums that they have in the packets because there's still a lot of product in there and just put it on your skin and then continue with your skincare. Like you can put your serum after or if you want to skip the serum since you already have the serum from the mask, you can just put eye cream, moisturizer. Yeah, I've been liking these. They're, they're nice. <laughs> um... I feel like they really make my skin glow. I should really be doing more face masks. Let me take care of my skin. Oh, and I have a little hack that I learned from TikTok. If you want to know what my TikTok is, I'll put my username on the bottom in the description box. It's fun. Don't judge me for it. Um, but if you go to the Mar- This isn't sponsored. I wish it was. But if you go on the Mario Badescu website, and like you can take their quiz to get free samples you can take their quiz they ask you like what kind of skin you have any problems with your skin and they send you samples well they're free samples but you only have to pay like 2.95 for shipping and that's it but they give you so many samples here i'll read them out <laughs> okay this tiny little cute guy Ugh, focus this tiny little thing is the seaweed cleansing lotion which i'm pretty sure is just like toner because it's watery or liquid <laughs> um this is the botanical exfoliating scrub and they really put a lot in here look oh sorry i don't have nail polish <laughs> valentine's day is coming up so i'm doing my nails later yeah that's what it looks like I'm excited to try these. I haven't tried any yet. Um, this little thing is ceramide eye gel. I hope I said that correctly. Focus. It's green. They put a lot of product in here. So if you're ever going to do this, I think you should. 
because I think it's a really good deal. It's only $2.95 for these, so just pay for shipping, you know, and honestly, I'm gonna do it again, but using my mom's email. Um, this is the enzyme cleansing gel. It's in that packet, and it's filled up to the top. Uh, this is the oil-free moisturizer. I think I've tried this before. I don't remember because it was a small little sample. It was like small like this and they didn't put that much in there. I think, yeah, I think I got it from Sephora. They didn't put that much in there. So if you're getting samples, get it from Mario Badescu, the website. This is the flower and tonic mask. I was going to use this the other day, but I didn't. <laughs> This is the Herbal Hydrating Serum, and it comes with the product application guide. So if you're new to skincare, or if you're like wanting to like make your skin better, they tell you like the steps, the steps you need to do, like what goes first, what goes last. Um, they also tell you like morning and night and what to do, like directions. And if you if you're new to skincare, I think this is a good place to start. They're a really good brand. And they tell you where to put each product, like eye cream, moisturizer, toner, and all that good stuff. So it's the end of the video. <laughs> Let me know if you guys try any of this out. I would love to hear how it worked for your skin, how it didn't work for your skin. You know, I would highly recommend Bliss and Mario Badescu. Highly recommend. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I know I need to get back on my filming. Because I... have uh, Honestly, I've been procrastinating. And then there's schoolwork. And then I'm like, should I go to the gym? So there's just a lot. But Valentine's Day is... Okay, camera cut off. Valentine's Day is on Friday. And today's Wednesday. So I will be filming a Valentine's Day vlog with someone special. Let's keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I hope you have a good day, a good week. Drink some water, eat something. And I love you, my little devils. See you in the next one.